Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited because in this video, I'm doing an extreme bathroom makeover. Finally, I'm tackling this bathroom and it's all renters friendly for less than $100. So stick around and I'll show you exactly what I did. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm super excited because I'm doing an extreme bathroom makeover like I told you in the intro and it's all under $100, totally renters friendly. This is the first part of a three part series because I am getting ready to travel down to Florida. So I will be down there for a couple of weeks and I just wanted to have enough content so I can get it done. So before I leave, my goal is to finish the bathroom, do my bedroom, and then have all that content so I can put it out in sequences, I guess. But this is the first part, and in this video, I'm tackling the flooring, the countertops, the cabinets, and the walls. Like, I'm painting everything. I'm literally doing the entire bathroom just because I got tired of seeing it, and I'm here for a whole nother year because I just resigned my lease. So, at least I wanna make it feel like it's my vibe, and I wanna, I just know, like, I just want a, a retreat where I can just go take a bath and relax and forget all the craziness in the world is happening. I did it for under a hundred. I'll do the math and I'll walk you through the entire process, but without further ado, let's just get into this big, big bathroom makeover, part one. Let's just roll with it. This is my mood board and the inspiration pictures I got from Pinterest that reflected my vibe and the feel I was going for. Here's the bathroom and there's really nothing wrong with it. I just think it's really dark. I don't like the flooring and I hate the color on the walls. And since I'm here for another year, I want to make it more my style. I don't like how the walls are, are textured. I don't like how it's all this yellowish color throughout my apartment. So whenever I can change it, I will change it. I do want to point out that before I did any painting, I did go to Home Depot and I got this color matched. So I knew which color I had to get whenever I'm moving out so I can repaint it in the same color and there's no issues. This counter is really old and ugly and I hate the, looking, the look of it. And also the paint is peeling off so it looks disgusting. I will be covering this up. For the mirror, I'll probably do some sort of frame around it. My goals for this space were to just definitely change the vibe of it, to create more storage, and to reflect my personal style. I would made sure I cleaned the floors thoroughly, I cleaned the walls, and I unscrewed all the hardware that I did not want to keep. Using the spackling mix and sandpaper, I'm just patching the holes on the walls. So to paint the bathroom, I'm using just the regular paint, which is a low odor semi-gloss from Bayer. The color is Frost. I'm also using a roller, my little tray for paint, a plastic to cover the surface, and I have a lint roller because I learned a little trick from Joanna Gaines, which I will show you guys. So when you have a roller, use a lint roller to just get some of that fox off so you don't get that on your paint. Okay guys, so for the flooring, I'm using these floor tiles. These are peel and stick floor pops. I got these on Amazon. They were $9.98 for a pack of 10, so I ordered three of them. So that was probably the biggest bulk of money that I spent on this bathroom. It was, it's the tiles and the paint. The paint and the tiles were about $50 or $60 just about. Everything else is pretty much what I already have or I had thrifted or I bought on clearance or I'm DIYing myself. But again, tiles, and then I'm using painter's tape. I'll link everything in the description box. And I bought this little cutting tool thing. I'll link it again in the description box. It was like $5 for this. That's pretty much what I'm using. And I may need to use my glue gun, so I have this just in case. And here's what the floor looks like after I finish putting all the painter's tape on it. Again, I'm only doing this so I can protect the original flooring and I can stick the tiles to the painter's tape. For 
these little sections right here, what I'm doing is I'm actually using the paper. So I'll just trace the parts that I need to cut. Or in this case, I already have this one cut. So I, all I did was like I measured it and I know what I'm cutting. So I'm just using my little cutting mat to cut it to size. To cover the cabinets, I'm using a foam board, some contact paper, gold washi tape, a couple of command strips, a cutting tool, and possibly some acrylic paint and some masking tape. To cover the handles of these cabinets right here, I'm going to use this gold washi tape. I'm going to cover the counter with white contact paper but here's where the paint was peeling off so I covered it with masking tape so I could just level it and I wouldn't have all the little bumpy stuff under the contact paper. To cover all these little seams and stuff I'm gonna use this caulk so it gives it a little more professional look. For the vanity doors, I created a frame using foam board and acrylic paint and this paper I got from Target in the dollar section just to change the color of the vanity and give it more of a wicker look. Lastly, I attached them to the vanity using some command strips. Here's one more look at what the bathroom looked before. And here's my new and improved bathroom in three two, one. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this little mini makeover part one because actually it's not a mini, it's an extreme makeover. So I hope you enjoyed it. This is the part one, make sure you are subscribed and have the notifications on so you don't miss my second and my third part because I'm gonna be doing some more DIYs. I'm gonna be tackling the doors, shelving, plans, all of that. So mirrors, all of it. So make sure that you guys are subscribed so you don't miss any of it. And it's all render friendly, remember that. Guys, also, one last thing. Let me know in the comments below if I should cover the trims or the cabinet thing in between the doors that are brown, like dark brown, should I cover it with gold? Like, I'm on the fence about it because I don't know, I feel like the contrast is huge, but I don't know if I should cover it. So let me know, I don't know, maybe once everything comes together, It'll be different, but what do you guys think? Would you cover it? And lastly, I'll leave you with my favorite quote, or at least one of my favorites, which is, the journey is what brings us happiness, not the destination. Lots of craziness is happening right now, and we just have this moment, so let's make the best of it. Take care of one another. Love you. Thank you. Don't forget, subscribe. See you on the next one. Bye.